are out at the back of the Catchpenny Club. Um, I've already interviewed uh, Nicholas Johnson and the noisy bit, but uh, Tim Ellis deserves extra attention. <laughs> we brought him out to a quiet area. Uh, how you doing, Tim? I'm very good. I'm relieved to finish that uh, epic psychic surgery. <laughs> right. You've done that what, 20 years ago and haven't done it since. Is that yeah, right? I did it for a, the Australian Skeptics uh, as a lecture, and uh, we were talking about unusual acts of the Catchpenny Club. And Nick said, Oh, you've got to do the psychic surgery. So, could you uh, just take that if you will? Uh... <laughs> I thought it was very, very funny. I must admit, and I liked the warm up bit, that was my favourite. <laughs> to start off with a little bit of a warm up, a warm up that I've been doing since, uh, well, about the last 30 years. So. If I could have my music, please. So I was able to convince him and then Channel 31 to actually put it on air. So uh, we're working on uh, filming all the episodes of the Catch Me Club and cutting them up to make a series. Look there, Ty. But Ty, have a close look. Come and have a close look. If I were to take the knife and to cut into the flesh, where, well, about down to the bone, like this. That's very different to bloodless surgery, <laughs> and that's why psychic surgery is so popular nowadays. Uh, it should go on, uh, we were aiming for March, that's when we were scheduled in, but I think just with the content that we're getting and the time it's going to take to edit it together and put it put it together really, really well, the way it deserves to be put together, it may be April, maybe even as late as May, but it, it will be on, and, and you'll all know about it. And, and Channel 31's going digital apparently too, so that will be useful. Yeah, that's, that's another reason I suppose we could hold out a little bit longer, because uh, it will expand the audience tremendously. Yeah, because I... <laughs> Festival, this is year number three? Um, it's year number two, but I think it's festival number three, if that makes any sense. Yes, it does make a little bit of sense. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Unfortunately, I won't be here. I'm going to Europe in the, in the, in the, in the winter here, but yeah. summer over there. But I'm sure it'll go well. The uh, last two years seem to it's, take along. It's gone berserk. Uh, we, we've opened it up to anyone who'd like to do a show. We've got a lot of people who want to. We've actually got a waiting list of people who want to do shows. And uh, there's also some rumours about some overseas artists performing this year as well. And then next year in 2011, uh, and this is really hot, 
off the press news, it looks like we'll be having the uh, the Oceana FISM Championship as part of the Magic Festival as well. So, uh, Which will be what? That uh, is like a prelude to FISM. So the plan, with the grand plan with FISM is that every area, every uh, region that, that, that constitutes FISM has a championship the year before FISM and the winners of that go to compete in FISM. So that will cut down the number of acts at the actual FISM, is that the idea? Uh, it? It's not necessarily cutting it down because you can, even if you don't qualify that way, you can't qualify other ways, but it will ensure a better standard of acts. <laughs> He's cured, ladies and gentlemen. He is cured. <laughs> this is Sue Ann, who looks much better on camera than Tim. <laughs> and this is Tim's partner, if you don't know. What have you been up to recently? Bump into it one day. I hope so. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much uh, for coming to 